everyone. So in this short video, I just wanted to go over five of my favorite free WordPress plugins here. So they're in no particular order, but I would definitely say that this one here, Elementor, would be the number one on my list of the five if I had to put them in any kind of order. And I'm actually going to be releasing numerous tutorials coming out here soon with how to make websites with Elementor and how to make changes in Elementor and things like that with the plugin. But basically this plugin is a very versatile page builder and it's a free download here. And they also do have a pro version if you would like to. I'm going to link to this in the description below. But with this free download here, they, they have so many different options that you can make into basically a customized website with a free plugin here and you can actually use a free theme to go with it there are several themes that would work well with it and I'm going to go into that in future tutorials coming up here but you can create all different kinds of sites with different elements that it lets you edit very easily with drag and drop and here's some of them right here that come along with it and then at the bottom it says which ones are pro I'll definitely link to it in the bottom of the description here and I definitely would recommend that you check it out Next, I'm going to go over to Yoast SEO here. Yoast SEO is a free plugin that helps you optimize your website for search engine optimization purposes. Now, this is for the on-site. On-site is only part of the battle when you're doing SEO. The other part would be off-site like backlinking and social media engagement and things like that. You, you want to definitely have your website optimized to be the best that it can. And if you look right here, here are the ratings. The average is 4.7 out of 5 stars, and there's almost 8,000 5 stars at the time of this recording right now. So it's a very popular plugin, and it's very well known and reputable within the WordPress industry. It's probably the top search engine optimization plugin, and it's very easy to use, which is another great part about it. I'll likely be doing a more in depth tutorial on that in the future, but for now, I would just say you should definitely check this out and set it up if you do not already have it. And the next one is a very popular one. It's an oldie but goodie. It's Contact Form 7. And the reason why this one is so popular, in my opinion, is because basically you can just put a free, easy to edit, easy to use contact form on your website and it gets the job done. Now, if you're looking for something fancy, this might not be the best one for a beginner. You might actually want to go with some kind of paid plugin. And they actually do have, in the pro version of Elementor, they have upgraded kind of contact forms that look a little more appealing to the eyes but if you know some CSS you could probably edit this and make it look pretty nice and again this one has over 1 million active installs and a very high rating out of 5 stars it's a great plugin and I highly recommend it if you want to just have a free alternative to paying for a contact form this next one here is called Updraft Plus and I actually already have a video on my YouTube channel here about this and you can do quite a few things with this plugin. You can actually migrate sites from one to another, but I have a free alternative video to that as well. And you can also back up your website daily or maybe even more often than that. I do it daily on mine, but most web hosts tend to back up your website maybe once a week if it's a reputable host. This could actually back it up a lot more often and save you from a lot of hassle. And it can actually send that backup to something like your Dropbox files or Google Drive files or something like that. So it's very helpful and it basically helps you out if you're dealing with someone trying to hack your website or some malicious attack toward your website. You can actually have a backup just from the day before or maybe even a few hours before. So it's very helpful with that. And it's basically a way to protect you and basically have almost like an insurance backup here. And it can really come in handy. I've had a site or two get hacked in the past several years ago. And I would have loved to have this installed because it would have sped up the process to recovering the site and having it back live in a matter of minutes rather than a matter of a few days, which was the case when I was using HostGator. So the next one here is one that I actually put on almost all of my tutorials. If you've watched one of my full length tutorials, this is probably one you've seen. It's Access Press Social Share. And the reason why I have this one on here is it does have a great free version. And if we scroll down, we'll see that it has quite a few installs and a very good rating as well. It's an easy to use, easy to set up way to share your articles or your blog posts or your content, whatever it may be, on social media for other people that are reading it. See right here in this picture, you can see there's Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Dig, Mail, or Printit. There's all actually other options besides this, I believe. 
and they all come within the free version here. And they do have a pro version as well, but this free version is usually what I use, and it's pretty straight to the point. It makes it very easy for people to share your content, and that's what you want because then you have more people coming to your blog when your content is being shared. So this is a great free plugin as well. There are many more free plugins that are really great, but these are just five that I really like to use and use often myself. So I would highly recommend them to you, and I'm going to link to all five of these within the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for viewing, everyone.